Gary Atensi with CNTV, and we're here in Denver, Colorado at the Garment District. Now close to 39 years, the Garment District has been serving Denver, Colorado in men and women's clothing, contemporary clothing. I'm here with a couple of the owners here, Jim and Linda. Linda, tell me first of all, 39 years ago you started out here. Tell me what you had in mind for Denver. Well, we were actually in Fort Collins when we first started out, and we were young, and our clientele was young, and we thought clothing should be fun, so that's what we were doing. Fantastic, and then so you brought it here to the Denver area? Right. Thirty years ago, we entered the Denver market, and we've been in this neighborhood now for that long. Fantastic. I noticed one of the biggest things when I walk through the doors, Jim, is basically, I don't know how many square feet you got here of product, but tell me, it's got to be a lot. Uh, 12,000 and uh, a little bit of that is in office but most of it's uh, on the floor at least a little over 10 on the floor basically Jim I know when you get on the website there and people take a look at it as the websites the bottom of the screen right there folks when you get on the website you're gonna see a lot of designers that they've got here under one roof but hopefully we're gonna give you a vision of what this place really feels like it is packed solid there's a lot under one roof here and so let me ask you let's start out with first of all the the women's line what do we have as far as some of the designers people will find here uh, Nanette Laporte, Trina Turk, um, we carry a lot of Autumn Cashmere, Bailey 44, and in denim, True Religion, um, G-Star, Citizens of Humanity, Hudson, um, you want me to keep going? <laughs> Well, um, a lot of Michael stars, and they do everything now from tops, which everybody kind of knew them for their t-shirts, but they do dresses and jackets and um, leggings, so a lot of clothes from Michael stars. You've been around for a while, so you've seen fashion change, you've seen styles change. Tell me why people keep coming back to the Garment District. Hopefully because we are very friendly and we give them good service and we keep a fresh selection of products so when they come in they're going to see something new and unique. We don't carry a lot of any one thing so they aren't going to look like their neighbor. They're going to be special. As far as somebody coming in here, how important is it to have a knowledgeable staff that basically knows what looks good on people? It's huge because most people don't have time to spend all day shopping and if they come in for a pair of jeans they want to try on two or three pairs and they want to have some success so everybody who works here tries on every single style of jeans that we carry so they know how they fit and they can suggest the right thing for the customer. Some of the men's clothing as far as the designers go I don't know if you'll rattle off a list like she will but give me kind of a hint of what we're looking at. We have a lot. Uh, actually, between men's and women's, we probably have at least 200 active vendors, and we probably have been dealing with, over the last 10 years, maybe more like seven or 800. But, obviously, some of them are more important. Some of the big uh, vendors we have in men's are Hugo Boss, Robert Graham, uh, G-Star, Seven Diamonds, in shoes, we carry Donald Pliner, we carry Alan Edmonds. We sort of have everything from a classic look to a very trendy look. And we have things for a pretty young guy to a guy that's maybe a little more mature. So we're, we're sort of hitting on a lot of bases and we're sort of eclectic. Instead of being a specialist that's right down one alley, we have a lot of different things. And a guy, if he wants to dress, uh, uh, really edgy uh, on Saturday night he can find something and if he needs to be uh, show up in in court <laughs> he, he might he might wear something else from here sure fantastic so basically what's nice about the internet right now is people get out there and and they're able to see a lot of these designers on their websites but they don't know where to find this type of thing it sounds like here they can basically walk in here and find all the different designers that they're looking for and if you can't find something here something's got to be definitely wrong because you've got so many different styles to choose from let me ask you as far as the shoes and ladies it looks like you got a, a wide range tell me a little bit about the shoes uh, we do try to carry a wide range everything from little reef flip-flops to Donald Pliner and a lot of different brands every season Sam Edelman um, Libby Edelman Lisa Pliner um, lots of different choices Fantastic. I know also folks, uh, 5280, tell me a little bit about that. Was that recently or has that been a few years running? 
Um, actually, we've received Top of the Town awards for, I think, five years running now. So we are very pleased. We try really hard to earn those rewards. Fantastic. So 2006 to 2010, they've recognized you guys as being somewhere to come on down and take a look at here. It's real easy to get to. Um, I like the location here because you got great parking on the side here. Not like you have to um, go into the mall and park into a big place and walk for a mile and a half before you actually get to where you're going. I like that. It's fantastic. Let me ask you, as far as um, events that you sometimes hold throughout the year, tell me some of the things that you guys do. Oh, we've had Michael Starr's events, we've had Victorinox events where they bring their trailer, their Victorinox trailer, and park it out here and show all the product that Victorinox does. We've had denim events. Um, we, we try to keep things spiced up a little bit. Fantastic. For the people that basically know you and have found you, they love you, what about the people out there that don't know much about you, not even sure what the garment district may be? What would you tell those people out there to come on in and take a look? Please check us out. I think you'll be happy. Perfect. And like you guys, you pride yourselves on the fact that you're a knowledgeable staff as well as a friendly staff. Got a lot of guys and girls running around here taking care of everybody and making sure everything works out great. Um, let me ask you also, when on the website there, are they able to follow you as far as do you have a mailing list or anything like that? We do have a mailing list, and you can click on the sign up for it on our website. You can certainly sign up for it here. You can like us on Facebook. Um, we're on Twitter. We've got a cast page, so um, check us um, out. They're also recognized there on City Search, so you can search them out. But obviously, you're watching them right here. But go on the website. You're going to get a, a, a little bit of a taste of what they have under the roof here. Hopefully, um, our cameras will get around here and show you and entice you to come on down, take a look. You're going to find a lot of a lot of product under one roof and this is women's and men's clothing so come on down check it out the website's at the bottom of the screen you can um, click on their website there and join their mailing list that'll keep you apprised of any possible specials they've got coming up any sales they've got coming and also events that they've got coming around in the area so this is Gary Atencio with CNTV and if you don't know now you know <laughs>